Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to do another video on Airfix 132 scale toy soldiers and I'm going to dive into the Napoleonic era. Airfix did four sets from this time period uh, in 132. In the other scale, 176, we can call it. They did a lot more uh, and they did artillery and cavalry as well. Uh, for the 132, there was only four infantry sets, which, which is kind of sad because the way the, the Seventh Cavalry look, looked from the American series, it would have been so nice to have that in 132. But this is what we got and uh, we, it will have to do, right? Uh, nice set, 29 figures, 15 poses. This at the time in 73, 74, when they went from seven, eight poses to a lot more in the sets, like with the Cowboys and those. Um, there's only six poses fighting. You know, I always go on about, you know, when I was a kid, I liked the fighting poses. I didn't like the guys just standing around, but I didn't have many of these as a kid. And for some reason now, when I bought them as an adult, I really enjoy the poses that are not, that are just like standing because they become more like a display figure that you can paint really nicely. Um, for some reason, I, I don't see gameplay in these the way I do with the World War uh, II soldiers. Uh, but that's just me. Uh, anyways, the, the box art, very nice French flag dominant in the foreground. The little eagle here on the pole, flagpole that only the guard got to field into battle. And they also had a, a stamped brass plate on the bearskin helmet there with the eagle on it. On the back, as always, painting instructions with the color scheme. Here also you can see there's only two sets from this era available in 1973. And also a little bit history on the guard that I guess was uh, formed in 18, May 1804. And down here was the interesting thing that I don't know if it's true or not, but it's on an Airfix box, so it has to be the truth, right? That uh, when uh, Napoleon abdicated in 1814, um, 300 of the grenadiers shared his exile on Elba. And when he um, returned in 1815, these veterans were known as the Elba Battalion and were included in the 1st Regiment of Grenadiers at Waterloo. Uh, so this was a small unit to start with, and then it grew and grew from 8,000 to 100,000 when, when Napoleon invaded Russia in 1812. And, and I mean, it get, got so vast, it was staff, infantry, cavalry, artillery regiments, and also divided into old guard, middle guard, and young guard. So this, I guess, in my mind, this is the old guard, right? Um, and these are not, these aren't kids, you know, these are hardened, really cool, very uh, proficient combat unit. Uh, so it kind of sets the mood, I think, for this box. It's not just, you know, some, some regular G.I. Joes. These are the, the best of the best of this era with the, like the best weaponry. This uh, Charleville 1777 musket was uh, supposedly one of the best of this time. They also had the saber, but as far as I can tell, it wasn't really that popular to use when you have a musket and a bayonet anyways. And that was also shipped over to the Americas and, and stood like for, the, for, for like the base for the 1795 Springfield musket. Um, yeah, and, and as far as the figures go, you know, you have the regular fighting figures. Oops. Uh, kneeling rifleman, standing rifleman. And they're all fine, you know, someone charging with a bayonet. But like I said, for, for this set, I really enjoy the other figures a bit more. Like this standard bearer with the, with the eagle on top there. Nice details. I like the drummer. I'm a drummer since 40 years. And that, that saying, you know, little drummer boy, that, that doesn't really hold up for the old marching drums. They're really heavy. The drumsticks were like logs. So there's no kids carrying these stuff around in battle. Um, and of course, someone pointing at somewhere, uh, reloading. And I think this one is actually my favorite, just a dude with a coat with a rifle on his side. There's something about it. I don't know if it's, yeah, I really, really enjoy this, this set. And just the, these guys, a simple soldier just walking. I think they're awesome. Um, I'm going to do a close-up now, of course, like always, on all of these. So, so, so hang around and check that out because that's when you really see the details of these. I think they really stand the test of time as far as uh, casting and, and details go. They're very crisp. There's very little mold lines and stuff like that. 
uh, yeah, stick around and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.